Hi, I'm Michelle Jackson from the Human Services Council, and I'm going to talk to you about New York lobbying law and nonprofits. So, nonprofits in New York can and should lobby, but if you are lobbying in New York, you should consider registering at the city or state level. If you're engaging in certain types of activities, like having an Albany Lobby Day where you bring clients and staff up to meet with legislators, if you're participating in rallies or a campaign to save funding for human services or senior centers, or if you're meeting with elected officials to get discretionary funding or new funding, asking the mayor to support or oppose a piece of legislation. All activities like that are all lobbying activities and you may need to register and report on those lobbying activities. So at the city level, if you lobby more than $2,000 a year, then you need to register with the city clerk. And at the state, if you, were, if you lobby more than $5,000 a year on either state or local issues, then you need to register with the Commission on Public Integrity. It's important to note here that it's not how much time you spend lobbying, it's how much money you spend lobbying. So it's a, the best way to figure that out is kind of put your lobbying into two buckets. One is items like, did you charter a bus to take seniors up for that Albany Lobby Day? Do you, did you make flyers to pass out about an issue before a rally? Uh, if you do a big mailing campaign, how much did it cost to mail those letters to the governor? All of those kind of activities are lobbying expenses. The other bucket is staff time spent lobbying. So you take your staff that spend time lobbying and you come up with an hourly rate for them and then you have them keep track of all the activities they're engaging in. So the activities can be meeting with elected officials where they're asking for something, it, the time spent preparing to do that Albany Lobby Day where you take the seniors up, or prep time to create one-pagers or flyers or things like that for either meetings with elected officials or public events. All of those are lobbying activities and the staff need to keep track of that. Then you take their hourly rate, multiply it by the amount of time they spent lobbying, and you have how much time that employee uh, and how much they spent lobbying for that period of time. So then you sit down and you figure out with, between those two buckets if you meet either the $2,000 monetary threshold at the city level or the $5,000 threshold at the state level. And if you do meet that, those thresholds or if you come close to meeting those thresholds, then you really need to consider registering with the city clerk and or the Commission on Public Integrity. Now this is not a ban on lobbying. Nonprofits can lobby to the threshold and above the threshold, they just need to register. Once you register, you fill out bi-monthly reports, and it's important to note that if you fail to register and the city clerk or the Commission on Public Integrity find out that you're engaging in lobbying over the threshold without registering, you can face some pretty stiff penalties. So once you sit down with your staff, you look at how much you've been lobbying and figure out if you meet those thresholds, I strongly encourage you to engage a general counsel and discuss how and when you should register. You have to register by December 31st, so make sure you act now. For more information, go to www.humanservicescouncil.org.